Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, our topic for today is semicircle. In this first lecture of semicircle, we will discuss all its fundamental and basic properties. So without wasting any further time, let's begin with our topic. Now the definition of a semicircle is that it is a 1D locus of points that forms half a circle. Now from the word semi itself, you can understand that a semicircle is half of a circle. So the shape that we have over here is a semicircle. So you can yourself see that it is half of a circle. You can basically divide a semicircle into two parts. The first is this curved part, which you can name as the arc of the semicircle. The base of the semicircle is the straight lines that joins the two endpoints of the semicircle. And the midpoint of this base is called as the center of the semicircle. Now the radius of the semicircle is the distance between the center of the circle to any point that lies on the boundary of the circle. So if I name the center as C and the following points as A, B, D and E respectively, then I can say that CB is the radius, CD is also the radius, CE is also the radius and AC is also the radius. So you can understand that the distance between the center to any point that lies on the boundary of the semicircle is called as the radius of the semicircle. The distance between the endpoints of the semicircle is called as the diameter of the semicircle. So for this case, AB is equal to the diameter of a semicircle. If I name the endpoints of the semicircle as A and B, then the perimeter of the semicircle is the distance traveled from A to B along the arc of the semicircle plus the distance traveled from B to A along the base of the semicircle. So in the first part, the distance is from A to B along the arc of the semicircle and then from B to A along the base of the semicircle. So this distance along the arc from A to B is equal to pi r. Now this distance is pi r because for a complete circle, the perimeter is equal to 2 pi r and this arc for the semicircle is half of that of a circle. So 2 pi r divided by 2 is equal to pi r. And this distance BA is equal to twice of the radius because from A to C the distance is R and from C to B the distance is R. So BA is equal to 2R. So the perimeter becomes R into pi plus 2. The area of a semicircle is simply the half of that of a circle. So if the area of a circle is equal to pi r square, then the area of a semicircle is equal to pi r square divided by 2. Now let us check some interesting facts about a semicircle. A semicircle has only one axis of symmetry, that is reflection axis of symmetry. So if I draw a straight line that passes through the center of the semicircle and which is perpendicular to the base of the semicircle, is the axis of symmetry of a semicircle and it is called as the reflection axis of symmetry. You can easily see that the part 1 and part 2 are symmetrical about this line. So this line is the axis of symmetry of the semicircle. There is one interesting and important theorem related to a semicircle. If I take any point that lies on the arc of the semicircle, let's say this point and if I name it D, then according to the theorem, the triangle formed by the endpoints of the semicircle and the point lying on the boundary will be always a right angle triangle. So the triangle formed ADB will be a right angle triangle which will be right angle at the point D. This theorem is valid if I take the point over here, over here or anywhere else on the arc of the semicircle, the triangle formed by the endpoints and that point will always be a right angle triangle. Now since the triangle formed is a right angle triangle, I can say that AD square plus TB square is equal to 4R square. Now I've got this equation by using the Pythagoras theorem. Now if you don't know what is Pythagoras theorem, let me explain it to you. According to Pythagoras theorem for any right angle triangle, the sum of squares of perpendicular and base is equal to the square of the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. So for this case, AD was our perpendicular db was our base 
and AB was the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. Now since AB is equal to 2R, AB square is equal to 4R square. So AD square plus TB square is equal to 4R square. Now if you had any doubt regarding Pythagoras theorem, I have made a separate video on Pythagoras theorem where I have explained this topic very clearly and I have provided the link down in the description. So after watching this video, you can go check that out too. So let's do a quick summary of all the topics that we have covered in this video. The distance between the center and the boundary of a semicircle is called as the radius of the semicircle. The perimeter of the semicircle is equal to pi r plus 2r. The area of a semicircle is equal to pi r square divided by 2. And the triangle formed by the endpoints of the semicircle with a point lying on the arc of the semicircle is always a right angle triangle. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there. And all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy. Oh, oh, oh.